and with the cat brachial plexus, we just have a few differences in where some of the nerves are entering the, the tissue. But we'll start with the, the nice M. You can really actually see the M structure here. Mm -hmm. We have the ulnar nerve, median nerve, musculocutaneous nerve, going down into that towards that biceps brachii, brachial flexors area. Over here to the latissimus dorsi, we have the thoracodorsal or lat dorsi nerve. Off to the side here, this is disconnected because the skin <laughs> is removed. The medial cutaneous nerve. The big radial nerve which we can actually see dividing into an aspect that enervates the extensors of the brachium and then diving deep and passing around to the extensors of the antebrachium. Let's see that coming around right here. The axillary nerve is one of those that enters the tissue a little bit differently than the rabbit, where the rabbit we have the axillary diving down in between teres minor and subscapularis. In cat, the axillary actually peaks around. <laughs> in cats, the axillary, the axillary actually goes around the scapula here and sends a little fiber over to the teres minor. but then the rest of it goes through to enervate the deltoids. The subscapular nerve in the cat is distinctly divided into two pieces. Uh, with the rabbit, it's just sort of a, a sheath that descends together and then splits. In the cat, we have two subscapular nerves 